Hello everybody, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're actually going to take a look at a couple different pouches. Uh, as you've maybe noticed on this channel, I've been starting to do a lot more EDC, everyday carry sort of items. And one of the things that I've been kind of obsessed with and I think really works with the skill toy world is pouches. Um, so pouches particularly that you uh, that have Velcro on them that you can collect what are called Ranger Eyes. I've talked about that in some previous videos, so I won't bore you with recapping some of that, but I would definitely check out some of the videos I've done already, um, some reviews, some comparisons about uh, some of these pouches. But today, we're going to look at two pouches. I've not actually talked about them on this channel, uh, but this company, Zero Feud, just put out uh, pretty recently uh, a new design. And so they have an older one and a newer one. So I'm gonna actually gonna pair. So we're gonna talk about two of them here. The, first off, we're gonna talk about their original design. This is the soft wallet. I've owned a couple of these. And then we're also gonna be talking about their uh, latest design, which comes in two different sizes. I have the smallest version. This is called the CUP or C-U-P, the Compact Utility Pouch. So that's what it stands for. So we're gonna do a little brief comparison of these two uh, and let's get into that. One of the things that's been asked of me uh, on my channel here when I've talked about Ranger Eyes or even on my Instagram when I post uh, a copious amount of uh, pictures with pouches now in them uh, of where do I get my Ranger Eyes. Uh, and so if you ever see something uh, on my Instagram particularly, you can click on it. I tag anybody who's taggable, all right? So you can always check them out. And so make sure you follow these creators because there's some cool ones. But let's talk, I'm gonna run through them really quickly of where I got these. Uh, first off, uh, we have the uh, Lightroom patch here, uh, which is right here, there we go, uh, from Data Crew. I have a couple, I have many uh, patches from Data Crew. Uh, this here, the Chucky, uh, is from, uh, this is from Childhood Dreams. I love their company as well. Her, her, her designs are fantastic. Uh, and then lastly here, we have the DW. This was from Triggered Official. Uh, he does some incredible comic book inspired uh, designs and I wish I had more of his patches, but they're very difficult sometimes to get on the drops. Speaking of that, other difficult uh, one to get on the drops. Uh, here, moving on to the, uh, the cup pouch. Uh, these two here, uh, these matching sort of ones, the Cobra and, uh, and the Ninja here, these are from Mads Creations. Uh, absolutely love his stuff. Uh, I would recommend checking him out as well as all of these creators here, but absolutely love. Very collectible, they come in duos, uh, and um, I don't have the first two uh, releases. I really wish I did, because uh, now they're going for like at least $100 uh, for the sets uh, on the buy sell trade, so crazy. Up here, the Mickey here, uh, this is from Popped. Uh, EDC, I have a couple of theirs. Uh, this is my second pouch, uh, patch actually from them. Uh, really cool. Uh, and then uh, we talked about that. Uh, here's another Data Crew, uh, the Star Wars one here. And moving down here, uh, this is my first set. Uh, it came in a duo. Uh, it has like a Area 52 uh, instead of 51 because the company's called 52 Graves. And so I have this ET uh, phone home. I love that, uh, very, very nostalgic. A lot of these patches are, and that's, I'm a sucker for that. And then of course, another sort of nostalgic one, we have the Dare shirt. This is the Shirts uh, Project. And so this is my first one from them too, but they have a couple of different shirts now. Uh, I think that's a really clever idea. So there's there's just the, those then. Uh, and then I have on here a Zero Feud bead. And then the, on this one is a Coach bead, uh, Coach and um, Plague. Uh, so it's a collaboration. One thing I do also, by the way, be, uh, what I've done with all my pouches, uh, whether uh, these ones or, or others, uh, if they have a zipper you know, pull, I actually cut that off and I put a piece of paracord. This is 550 paracord, it slips right under there. Uh, and then I put a bead on there, a custom bead, and it, it kind of gives a little bit more accessorizing. Uh, you don't have to do that, of course. You could put it directly on the zipper pull. You don't need to put a bead on it. I mean, it doesn't, you don't have to have that, but this is sort of a customizable sort of feature. All right, that's kind of a cool thing. That's what's kind of cool about the pouches in the first place, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, you can put different Ranger eyes on it to make it yours. 
and all that. Let's go ahead and get into just kind of, again, some comparison. This is not gonna be super exhaustive. So if there's questions that you have, you're like, I didn't cover them, let me know in the comments. But uh, as far as the material, this is the nylon hex. Uh, now in the first run of the cup here, this is the newest release here from them. Uh, it only came in the hex sort of design, but as you can see, I kind of really like that. Now on the soft wallet, it does come in a couple other different nylons uh, and versions. It doesn't come in just the hex, um, but I really kind of like that look a lot. So we have the black and we have the blue here. Internally, let's go ahead and talk about this one. So this is sort of more of a, a drop-in sort of pouch, right? It's small. Uh, both of these run at the same size. So they're three by four and a half, okay? So uh, three inches by four and a half inches. Uh, on the CUP, the compact utility pouch, it does come in a larger size as well. I did not get that because uh, I knew in this run I was only gonna be buying one at the time and uh, they sold out very, very quickly and I knew I was only gonna be able to probably get one in the color I wanted. So I went with the smaller one, but the just to know the larger one uh, is just about one inch bigger in all the diameter, right? In diameter and width. And so it's uh, four by five and a half. Uh, internally, there is a, um, this, actually both of these have this uh, fluorescent orange, uh, but they are lined, which is nice um, for, uh, you know, if, you, if it's gonna be maybe damp or something like that, you don't want that co those colors to bleed in. So it's nice to kind of have that lined for whatever gear you might be having in there. So maybe, I don't know, you have like a natural micarta knife with, you know, scales or whatever uh, that you might not wanna get, I don't know, some, I don't, I don't know. I, it might not be an issue, but it is nice that it's lined. I have some pouches that are handmade that aren't lined. They've never really been an issue, but potentially some people might think that is. In the soft wallet, I have here just three simple things. I have a Coke um, Nat. I love this guy. This is a great uh, EDC knife, really small and compact. And I like the colorway on this one. I have a bead there as well um, on that. This is a Z and CNC, I think that's the company. Uh, I have a knuckle bone from Aaron Barrels in there. This is some of his work if you don't follow him if you are a skill toy aficionado and you don't have any Aaron barrels you need to get some they're really great um, and then i have some around squares mini hydras in the titanium all right so that's all i have in there i sometimes like a smaller pouch i have some larger ones right like a garage built and all that kind of stuff um, but it's nice to have a smaller pouch you know when you're wanting to just kind of minimize your carry or you want to kind of compartmentalize your carry. So I might carry one of these with a few things in them and then kind of load up another pouch, uh, uh, maybe a larger pouch, maybe the same size, with something a little bit different. I could probably fit a little bit more in here, but that's what it looks like empty. It didn't give it a lot of bulk. Um, I like this pouch particularly because it is like, you, you could use it as a wallet too, which I've actually never officially done. I've never really just like put money or cards in, but it is that size. That's kind of the, why it's called a soft wallet. Um, but there you go. I like that a lot. Um, and it's pretty compact. Uh, now the, you're only going to be able to fit like maybe three or four, depending on the size of the range rise on the Velcro loop here. The biggest difference here on the front is that this is a full loop, right? So if you are, um, nerding out about range rise like myself, you may gravitate to something like this because you can fit more range rise on it. And with the larger cup, design you can of course fit even more out obviously so there you go this is um the bead here is from zero feud like i said this is the space egg yeah and this is in like the i don't know uh, what is it called it's like the smoke or something like that all right so let's go ahead and open up the cup now uh the cup whatever the compact utility pouch and uh again this is the smaller version of it uh it opens up like a bifold uh actually before we do that uh, on the back, I haven't actually utilized the full like little slip here, but it does have a slip if you wanted to maybe put something smaller in there, like maybe even like band-aids or, or stickers or, you know, cause a lot of these patches come with like slaps or stickers and you can throw them in there maybe, I don't know. Uh, or you could probably even slide a very thin knife maybe there or, or cards or cash or whatever. It does have a little hook up here. So if you wanted to put like maybe a lanyard or, or, or some kind of something there. Uh, you could do that and clip that onto 
you know, maybe your belt loop or, or on a bag or something like that. So again, I haven't utilized that quite yet, but let's go and open it up. Opens like a bifold, right? So right away, you can probably predict that it can probably hold a little bit more. Uh, now it's gonna be thicker because it's got two-sided, right? So now in here, uh, I have a Bayer uh, knife, which is my go-to, one of my go-to knives for pouch knives, because it's very thin, it's a slip joint, uh, it's great. Uh, this is from Tactile uh, Knife Company. Fantastic. Um, so, and then I have uh, a card reader here, and then I have a Flex, a JRW Flex. On this side here, I have two Beglery. Um, you have a little bit larger of a compartment on this side here than on this side. So if you wanted to put maybe uh, some, something larger, maybe a pry bar, maybe something like that, you could fit that there and then something a little bit smaller on this side. But for my sake, because I'm into skill toys and I wanna to carry them in my pouch, that's what I've included there. So maybe putting a larger bead set of beglery in there, if you wanted to put a second one, you could do that with a smaller set and that's what I've done. But again, you could see that it's completely up to you, obviously what you do. I have a check key in the back, it's nice and flat. Uh, let's go ahead and empty it out so you can kind of see the full space here and everything. All right. So uh, I've kind of loaded this up probably to its max. I wouldn't put uh, probably, I don't know, really thick items in there because I feel like when closing it, it can just kind of be really too much bulk. Uh, and, and I don't know, I, I liked kind of trying to keep it as thin a profile as possible. So that's why I picked like the Bayer knife and that sort of thing, because I know it's very thin profile. Maybe like a Swiss Army knife would also work something Thin would probably be ideal, uh, but I wouldn't probably choose anything larger than that, just or longer than that, because keep in mind it's four and a half. But if you did want to carry a larger blade, you'd probably want to go up to the next size of the CUP uh, because it's going to be longer. This barely fits in there, so anything longer than a knife like this, it's not quite going to fit. So there you have it. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, again, I'm not going to go into any more detail really. I think you can kind of make up your own mind, but I thought. It'd be good to kind of do a little comparison video. Again, I hadn't talked about uh, the Zero Feud uh, soft wallet, and I've had that for a while, and I've talked about other pouches. Uh, so if you're looking for maybe uh, a smaller pouch, I think this is probably the way to go. Uh, there are a few others out there, but I, I think this is a really good design. It's a great company. They make a bunch of other really rad gear as well, so definitely check them out. I have a link in the description to, of course, where you can buy this. Now, currently, the CUPs are sold out. Uh, you'll see a restock, uh, I'm sure of it. Now, in the next restock, you might see more than hex. I don't know, uh, that as far as the fabric, uh, I don't know. But right now, that was the first design. So you can get right now the soft wallet. They still have plenty of those in stock. I highly recommend them. My six-year-old has one for his stuff. So if you're looking for a great pouch right now, they're available too. That's gonna do it for now. Hope you enjoyed that content. Uh, if you have any questions over anything I covered or whether it's the Ranger Eyes or something like that, I'll have a link in the description as well to where you can get those. And if you have any other questions about any other companies I like to follow uh, and support, let me know in the comments. So that's gonna do it for now. And until the next one, later.